And welcome back. This is Cotown for another War of Rights video, and I have a guest commentator from the Ninth Corps joining me. No, oh, it's me, Brutish again. Thanks, Mr. Brutish. Good seeing you again. Yeah, glad to be here on two fantastic maps of Dunkers Church and, uh, was it Burnside's Bridge? Yeah, Burnside's and, Bridge. Yep, Burnside is number two, and they'll be switching sides in between, so. But let's see, for the admin stuff, right now we got a server pop-up 232, 113 on the defending CSA, versus 119 on the attacking Union. Let's take a look at these two teams. Starting with the Union, they have, looks like MWB, number of arty folks on there. Uh, a lot of arty folks. They also got Willie Stone leading the infantry. And we've got 123rd under Sergeant Patriot. Ninth Corps is led by Big Chungus, second lieutenant. Fourth West Virginia by Lieutenant Guy. NYV under Lieutenant Parker, 19th Indiana by Sergeant Cornbread. And 42nd led by Captain Hood. Oh, and the second U.S. Sharpshooters as well under... Uh, I'm not sure who's leading them. Major Brooke, I believe. And we got a little bit of already left. Let's see here. We've also got some Ninth Corps Commissar. Uh, looks like he is on the already. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the Ninth Corps already battery? Uh, you know, it, it used to be ran by a guy named Vlad back in the day. Um... Back in the day, I would consider Clark's battery um, probably one of the best in the games. It's it's a little it's a little low in attendance nowadays, um, but I think it's led by uh, First Lieutenant Shark, and uh, he's trying to get it back into swinging uh, back yeah, back where it used problem. to be the good old days. Building phase always good. Yeah. All right, on the CSA team, let's see. We got First VA under Sergeant Johnson. We are live, by the way, so I got to do these guys a little bit quicker. Uh, 10 10 C under Colonel Knight, 4 GA under Captain Clarkey. Let's see here who we got. We got some AB in the mix as well, along with MSG. They've got a lot of small units, so it's a little bit tougher. SR under Tall Gray. Let's see, looks like we got Ricks with his guys. We've got Sergeant Major Wilkes from the HL. And PB under Bocephus. And then EB here under a hey, single line, gentlemen. Major single Warlord. Line. Well, uh, going into the game, I think this is a great start for Union. Uh, the entire Reb Army is going to the Union right, while the entire Yankee Army is going to the left. I think the only regiment on this left side is EB, right? Uh, EB is the only one on that far left side. Old HL and PB are kind of in the center, so they might be able to support. But this is going to be a hell of a mismatch. I've seen uh, poor 10th Tennessee get wiped out a few times over here. We'll see what happens to EB. A little bit further back in the woods, so we'll see if uh, Wilkes and Bocephus can move down in position to help them. What do you think about this initial move here by the Union to their left side here in force? But by the column to the I think I think as attackers, you just got to... Definitely with a new steam jet event. You got to stay together as a blob. Um, right now, the the the, the CSA is kind of spread out. Half the teams on the right, half the teams on the left. So if you just kind of full send left here, you should outnumber anybody you come into contact with. You cannot, under any circumstance, stop on these fences because you will get absolutely torn to shreds. You just gotta go. Is that for both waiting. teams or the? Uh... Would just you for add? Union, as, as attacking, you can't stop on the straight rail. You just got to keep going. And I think the only reason why, who is this? It's probably 42nd. That yeah, is 42nd. 42nd. Yeah, it looks yeah, like he's waiting for the stopped. rest to uh, get in line, yeah. 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 Back to Buckham Ball. Press 5. It's going in first. This is NYV. Get the uh, tip of the spear. Oh, no, he's stopping as well. See, I, I think this is a bad move. I mean, you outnumber this you, this Yankee. This, oh, no, no. You outnumber the Rebs over here on the left. Probably two to one. You should just go in and wipe them. Yeah, you're giving an opportunity for the CSA to, to move forces over here. Which they are through the woods. Slowly yeah, it looks sure. like Lieutenant Praetorian is uh, heading over there. I think he's the messenger. He is on the way. But to be honest, as long as you're dealing decent casualties on them, you know, with with how low the uh, 
or how low the ratio is, uh, more more exactly, of the CSA is on the tickets. As long as you're dealing casualties, you're doing good, and it seems like they are. There's a lot of dead rebs in this road right here on the straight row. Yeah, but I'm not seeing too much of a ticket drain yet. Now, we are on the 10-second uh, lag spawn, so... It does come with the 20% uh, unchanged morale state boost, so... See if that impacts this Union strategy here. EB's getting torn up, and they they got their flag down, which is not good. And in fact, is the CSA starting to move troops over? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. They tired. Yeah, they waited way too long. They're, they're about to get eviscerated in this open field. I think I think sitting on point, shooting from back here is a, that's a that's a long distance shot, but uh. You're still getting you're still getting crossfire from what four different parts on the map in front of you. Yeah, now they're starting to move in. They might have started feeling that fire, but uh, yeah, now the whole CSA has pretty much moved over here. Yeah, we got knife core going flanking down the road. It seems like they're forming a line and shooting to their side. Good, good. We're in the next. Into line. Right here. I mean, the Union's still in a decent position here, though. I think they can uh, kind of roll up the CSA right now with where they're positioned. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's fine. And definitely the tickets are even, and CSA's losing on tickets. Woo! Let's go, 40 seconds! I just, I, I just think they're stopping too much. You got to go ahead and get into the woods at this point. Confuse them. Lose, make them lose you in the woods. Make them, make them search you. Because right now, with these static positions, CSA just has better cover. CSA has a sna the snake rail fence they can get, you know, Yeah, one, I'm kind of surprised the Union didn't move up to occupy that snake fence once they jumped over the straight rail. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure CSA has buck and ball on this map. So, I mean, all these guys standing in this giant clump, it, it's, it's, it's just asking to get eviscerated. Spot the sprint, boys. And now it looks like the CSA is in a pretty strong position. They've occupied that snake rail. And they pretty much got their full force here now. You got Patriot over here from the 123rd trying to get into the woods, but I think this might be a little bit too late now. Let's see, it seems like 42nd might be making a move for the center here. It seems like they're moving towards Victory Hill first, which I think is a good move. Uh, yeah, they go got some, yeah, they they got they some support. Not. You got uh, 42nd over there, and you s you still have that other Union regiment all the way on the other side of the map as well. I think that's MWB. So they could move forward into the woods as well if they wanted to at this point. Yeah, you need to start to fall behind a little bit on tickets here. That fucking dick high, boys. Right in their fucking knee, Did someone call in reinforcements? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if the Union could hold this position. Do you think they got to pull back here, reorganize, or do you think they're still trying to get into the woods at this point? Well, 40 seconds making a move on the straight rail in the middle, middle of the map. Seems like they might be able to wipe this CSA group out here. They outnumber them greatly. They're just kind of running up and shooting into them. Yeah, the fourth Georgia here. Yeah. Come on, Yankees, come stab this fence right here. I got something for you. Yeah, that that Union push on the left has been repulsed. But I mean, you're you're final tickets. They're halfway down down about already in what less than five minutes. That's not too terrible. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, not quite. A little bit above that already, a little bit above the halfway mark, I would say. I, I'd say the bigger problem is the Union's getting a little bit behind on tickets. Yeah, you you, you cannot be behind on tickets. Yeah, that can, that can, yeah, on map like yeah, that can cause some trouble later once you're trying to get that final push last stand if it comes to it. You'll, you'll be wanting those tickets back. Yeah, see, here's the problem. Now 42nd is going to get defeated in the detail. Because now the CSH is going to come up and swing onto him. Tear him up, boys. Tear him the fuck up. Thank you, 10th Tennessee. It's only me. Fuck them. Kill them. Come on. 
See, like NWB on the right is flanking into the woods, so that could be a good position for them. Oh, yeah, just like you were talking about, just kind of make them chase, make them waste time, get, get into melees. In fact, if I was a CSA, I mean, what do you think about charging out the uh, 42nd right now? Uh, I wouldn't. You, you, you're, you're basically shooting fish in the barrel, and as you can see, they're running. It, that's such an easy shot shooting into that deflate. That that deflate's only really useful if the CSA is not standing on the straight rail like that. If they're standing like behind the church or somewhere in the woods behind Artie, that deflate is extremely useful. But if they're standing on that straight rail, they're just shooting down into you, and those are extremely easy shots. Yep, it looks like they shut him down to a man. They're trying to get that flag back, but uh, the CSA is getting some nice out-of-line tickets as they continue see to this feed flag a guy. Is out. Yeah, it, it, Private Burns with the 40... Oh, there yep, there it goes. I've seen about four or five guys get it for out-of-line tickets there. But, I mean, you got to look at it. I mean, CSA has wiped, how many, two or three union groups, and they're, they're what, barely leading on tickets? Barely? Yeah, not by much. Um, not by much at all. That was not a good union attack yet. You're still at this position now. What you, but what union needs now is they need their RD to start hitting some shots here. If you have what? How many guys they have on RD? Uh, seven uh, on Eggle and then four on top. Yeah, so about, uh, about 12, yeah. Yeah, you need these guys to start doing some work. Because uh, union RD is notoriously pretty, pretty good for them. So they need to start actually doing some doing some work. Trying to find the ninth core battery over here. Oh, here they are. It's on the left. Major, major frick, daddy. It seems like he's lined up a shot or a commissar. Uh, better known as Whisper. Uh, seems like he might be lining up the shot. Looks like the Union's still getting reorganized, so take a look at this, Artie. Yeah, he's aiming directly west. I think he's aiming at who is this on the fence. First VA. Move right, move right. We're about to fire. Check, 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 check. Yeah, I think the 19th Indiana got in the way. No worry, they'll shoot through him. Oh, great Artie hit. Yep, good hit. I saw it. Stand up, motherfuckers. And here comes Wilkes telling him to get off the fence. <laughs> I mean, at this point, there's not really a need to stay there. He's right, I think. Yeah, but there they go. Oh, I, I just missed the other already battery shooting. This uh, TID ball? I, I don't know who those guys are. Huh. You know who they're attached to? Not a clue. Captain Soltz and second lieutenant, I guess, Jaeger. Yeah, I, I have no idea who those guys are. That's, uh, I mean, I guess they got in, so I guess they belong to somebody. Let me know who they are. If you guys know in the comments, let me know who they are. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, you know, all, uh, that, I mean, all that fun I mean, stuff. And then Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, yes, if I was actually getting paid from them. <laughs> oh, they got the flag back. Look at that. Well, it seems like Unions gets it with slowing this down now. I mean, which isn't a bad thing, trying to shoot them a little lower. You just can't take a whole lot of time doing this. Because, like you said, you'll find yourself in the final push last stand. And final push last stand is good on some maps. But I think a map like Dunker's Church, the CSAA has a lot of shorter run than Union. I think, what? What do you think from from Union spawn to 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 the point of contention? How long of a run that is? Like three? Minutes? Uh, um, yeah, I say two and a half. Two and a half, three. Like that's 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 literally the final push timer. You get one, you get one charge and final push. Yeah. Plus, you, well, so you know, you start adding in, you know, bayonet, you know, or, you know, oh, reload. Yeah. You know, you start. You're definitely pushing in the three, three plus at that point. Now, what do you think about uh, the Union currently doing the Crescent Recovering? Um, it seems to be their current tactic. What do, you, what do you think about that at the moment? I think it's a good idea. As long, as long as you can, you know, act, you know, constantly, not constantly, but consistently hit your shots, I think it's a good way to not take a lot of casualties. It just, it just depends, I, I think. It seems like 40 seconds getting a little aggressive while the rest of the team is hanging back. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think my concern might be is if you start doing the Crescent Recovering yeah. thing, you're not really identifying your targets as much. And you're, oh, not, yeah, and you're yeah. not really drawing them out. It's a lot easier to be in an open-order line and just constantly either independent firing or volleying from that. 
Forty seconds going into a charge by themselves entirely uh, unsupported. Yeah, this I don't think is going to work out too well here. Oh, I shot a dead body. Get Might down, be trying Mr. to force the rest of the Union team to do something, but it's, the rest of the Union team just refuses to do anything. Uh, like I said, that Crescent Recover, you can, I'll see the teams waste five, ten minutes on that and maybe get a quarter of a morale state down. Shoot that ah. right there. And 42nd loses their flag out here, too. That's that is what not good. Union line runs into a trained fucking but, I mean, honestly, 42nd just count, just completely got wiped. But look at the tickets. Well, that's that's I mean, what I'm saying. You could afford, you know, to be a little bit more aggressive, I think, as a union. Like like, like I said, the Crescent Recovery, you know, why? You know, even if you lose a few men, you're not really losing too many tickets. Stay, stay up shooting or, or advance, I think. We are oh, we got Ninth Corps moving up here. Here's Big Chungus. I'm going to go spawn listen to Hood uh, yell real fast. On what's left of the fence. Saying they're doing exactly what I wish they wouldn't do. Nine four. They're they're they're, they're getting up here on this left and stopping on the stray rail. You're you're just gonna get caught in a crossfire. You're getting shot from the northwest, from the church. You're getting shot from the west, from the woods, and from the southwest on that straight rail, snake rail. You're just gonna get evaporated. Yeah, I, th I think I know they got buck and ball, but I, I think closing with and getting into the woods and making this like a melee close fight, I think, is in the Union's favor. I mean, he, Union goes engaged first, but I mean, so you say it's not that far behind. I mean, but you we're, gotta look at it. I mean, we're, we're at 20, 27 minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say we're at 28, and we're still battle ready. This is not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not good for the Union. What I find is, is a lot of times the attackers lose because they're not aggressive enough. Sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it, full send it, and just get in there. Even if you're running across an open field. Yeah, no, I, I would agree. It's, it's, you might feel like, oh man, I lost a charge, but you know, you take a look at the tickets, you know, was it worth it? And you know, how much damage did I do to them? If you gotta slow it down, you can slow it down, but you could, you know, you control the tempo. Right now, the CSA, Controls all the tempo right now. They they are dictating the terms of this engagement. And they're out shooting you. I mean, it'd be different if if CSA was lower than what Union is, but they're not. Now the entire CSA teams on this left, aside from what, 10, 15 guys at the nipple. I mean, they're still Tennessee. supporting though. They're still getting in-fled fire, so you know. Oh yeah. MWB still on that right side, but uh, they'll be not in the woods anymore. It seems like they're finally going in. Which we'll probably see Union lose with charge, but it's about tickets at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, they'll lose tickets, but he, I mean, you know, they're engaged at least, and, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're pretty close to even at the end of this. Well, you got NYV who's sitting on the right flank right here. 4 G, 4GA is trying to meet them on the right. Let's see what happens there. I think CSA is going to come out on top, but I, they're going to they're going to pay for this. And you back up my bros, yeah? Back up my brothers, yeah? You're dead. I mean, yeah, NYV's got a little lodgement here. Back off my brothers, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, but here comes a car charge from 10 Tennessee. Yep, 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 they're going to clean it up. I mean, you're you're behind on tickets as Union, but not too much anymore. They made, yeah. they made up some ground. A little bit. It's still not great. Especially on Dunkers. Ah, uh, no, it's not great, but it's it's better than what it was, I would say. I'd say it was still worth it. You know, I, 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 don't, know, I don't know if you would uh, disagree, but... I wouldn't have attacked straight on, you know, maybe try to <laughs> kind of do what NYV did, try to find an angle. Well, you know, the, you, you never know. The Union might be going, all right, let's get Bayos and move immediately to the right and take the woods from the right. You might be able to beat them there. 
before they realize what's happening. And I think this might be what... Yeah, it looks like Hood's moving over to the right Union right yeah. side of the field now, so he might be thinking of that. And it can, uh, you know, nice thing about a charge is it resets everything, so everybody's back at the same place, and you can kind of reset and re-coordinate. Like, I haven't, I haven't heard a lot of cannons going off. These cannons need to be, uh, need to be hot. No, no, not nearly enough, to be honest with you. Not, not to be worth this investment. Can't you got, for the you got plenty though. of ammo. I mean, you have, like, you know, 50 goddamn caissons. It's, you don't, you no, know. You seems can... like Knife Corps about to take a shot. I think he's lining up to the left of the church. Another shot just went in. I think they hit the right side of the church. I think they got, actually got a few of them. Yeah, I wasn't in position to, to catch it. There, watch the, Yep, there's the left. I was about to tell you. They got like one or two guys. Looks like we got the Union infiltrating into the woods here. We got Hood lean, kind of lean with a few men. Yeah, they're going to beat them there. I mean, as long as you can get into a melee in the woods, it's it's chaos. Guys, I mean, any, anything can happen in there. Yeah. It's when you're assaulting these 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 fences straight on, you're gonna you're gonna just get decimated. What? Okay. They came with the smoke. Who's who's already in the woods? Who is this? Oh, that's Hood. Of course, it's Hood. Yeah, you got you got Kilroy bringing up the rest of the men here. It looks like from 42nd. Well, I, I don't think the CSA even know that 42nd's back here. I mean, I know uh, it's only like 10 uh, guys, but... Yeah, I mean, they got to figure it out pretty quick here now that Kilroy's coming to meet him. No, I meant, I meant where Hood is, like all the way southwest. Oh, all the way back there? Yeah, probably not. But again, he doesn't have too many men, so it's not a huge... I think that, I think having that flag with a five-second timer is you're going to get people in really oh, it's, fast. It's, they get it's turned on with a ten-second on this event. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's five-second on Sundays. That's true. I get them all mixed up now. Yeah, it's it's hard to keep track of them all. Keep firing. Fire well. I guarantee you. Keep them boys. And you got yep, Ninth Corps kind of starting to move up now, yeah, but some they, CSA moving up as well. Yeah, they need to get in. They need to make this a, either a melee or a close quarters fight. Yeah, you got HL Wilkes has now come up to support the 10th Tennessee. MSG's with him as well. Keep it together. It just take it too long to bring these engagements, in my opinion, to the Union. You have these opportunities, and you kind of on, just wait too long, take too long, I think. Wilkes has not spotted this group behind him. They have not spotted 42nd. 42nd is, is, is not spotted. That that could be a game changer. If they get, they, if they get at least 20 guys on that flag, charge directly into the back of them. Uh, well, I mean, the only problem is he has no way of communicating, so I don't think he knows this fight's going on right now. Oh, uh, first VA charging into him. I need to poop. Kill me. I need to poop. Kill me. I need to poop. Kill me. I need to poop. Oh my god. Please kill me. I need to shit. Please kill me. I need to shit. That's the old ghosty. Yeah, you see, Hood is still back there. He hasn't, you know, there's no Steam chat, there's no communication. Oh, NYV, I don't think has even noticed that the union, the union force on the right just got charged. They just realized. Uh, but the CSA is going to pull out before they can react, which was, I think, a good move by First VA there. NYV kind of just let their friendlies all get slaughtered to their right, right there. That was kind of, kind of bad. Yeah, you gotta keep a keep an eye on here. The Union has not really been doing a great job of mutual support either, to be honest. I honestly, I cannot wait to see what Hood does back here. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on and keeping the uh, the flags going so I can see if he makes a move. It looks like Ninth Corps got a little beat up as well. They're gonna fall back. So yeah, another success. But again, look at the tickets. I mean, honestly, if if forty if Hood swings into the back of HL right now, he could probably wipe them. And probably half wipe another group. Uh, is he on the move? He is. I don't know who his regiment is. I think he's scouting. <laughs> this is really funny. That's true. He's just yeah. just stalking HL. 
Yeah, he's yeah, bringing him up. Yeah, here we go. I think he's about to volley it's straight into their back, better, which would be hilarious. Recording afterwards, man. Yeah. Or send it to here me. Here he goes. I'd rather have it. If I, I want to see it, man. <laughs> oh yep. my god. Yep. <laughs> That hurts. That is gonna. Hey, up, and they're about to wipe HL. We have a whole line here. Oh, God. And HL. Yep, they got it. Oh, wait a second. Who's now, coming to counterattack? Yeah, but the rest of the Tennessee. CSC sees them. Tennessee's hitting them now. Oh, Knight's angry. <laughs> that was really funny. I don't. I don't think Forty Second realizes they're getting chased. Push all the way through, boys. Push all the fucking way. But still, I'd say this favors the Union here, and you can see. Look at the ticket bounce. Push them all the way through, Tennessee. And this takes a lot of CSA, CSA away from the front line. You do lose a flag though, which is pretty bad. Yeah. No. I mean, it's it's at some point that was going to happen, but still, you know. Hey, now we're at 19 minutes, close to taking losses. I'd say you're still behind, but. You know, this I don't is... know. I, I, I still don't think you're going fast enough. Oh, there's another Union element uh, in the woods here towards the center. Small element. It's like BB. it's uh, Fourth West Virginia, yeah. Just three guys straight bowling. Yeah, I think they're about to get eaten too. Oh, God. They... <laughs> and first via. Oh, oh. They just. They just. They just ran right by them. No. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Fort Shorty got him. Whoa, whoa. That's really funny. This is this is a really funny dunkers. It, it really is. Uh, we do have a play on the center here. Who is this? Oh, Ninth Corps has moved over to the center. What do you think about this move by Big Chungus here, occupying the uh, that that point right off of? Um... Just say it. Just say yeah, it. Yeah, the nipple. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Um, I think it's a good, good position until you start getting fired on from four different spots from the woods. So like right now, I think it's great to hold. Um, you don't really have any shots, but if they go to peek out the woods, which they're about to, they're to their west. I think it's a great position. So you have great cover. And I think MSG is about to go straight into their fire or wherever this is. He's popping out right now. Uh, looks like MSG is partnered, but I think it's Wilkes and PB. Obosifus and Wilkes, I should say. Now, would you, what do you think about the Union capping at this point? Uh, yeah, I, I think capping's a good idea. Uh, anything to stop the clock, make the CSA coming out in the open, and honestly just force a, force a melee. Just do anything to stop this clock and give yourself some more time. Yeah. No, I think so, too. It, it's It's... You know, you're about even on tickets, so it's not like they're going to get anything back with it. You know, worst comes to worst, you both go down, you know, right, save some time, and you'll be back in the same route state. Well, you got to think about it. If you're if you're attackers and you cap point, you should immediately just get, like, as aggressive as aggressive as possible. Start throwing your tickets away. Charge, like, if you're, if you're slightly ahead like you are right now, cap the point, and they immediately charge. So even if they, even if you do lose the charge, when they recap, you get you get rid of your tickets, and if you win the charge, you have points. So you can possibly just win by holding for ten minutes. But see now, now I think this is where this this strong defilade where forty seconds about to go is, is really good. Um, oh, pretty pretty good union union shot on the left of the church, by the way. Um, because on Dunker's Church, if you go up to the fence line right here and have your have your regiment on the fence line, you're capping. So I think that's what's about what the hood is about to do. Uh, looks okay. like yep. And then, keep it out of left. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, from in game chat, it sounds like they want to. Uh, sounds like they're going to try to cap here. Now we do have E B on his flank here. We'll see if um. Well, he could get he could get up and over and just shoot down into him. I mean, that's a really good shot. So that's what he's about to do. Shift to left. Shift to left. Everyone here. Shift to left. Spread to line. Spread to line. Eb. Eb. They waiting them to form up. What's going on here? In the line. Quick time advance. I think they can't. Yeah, I think I think he's trying to bait them into coming. Oh, they're doing it. Don't do it. 
sprint, 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 sprint. Just sprint. Oh yeah, here we go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh god, this is about to be devastating. Oh wow. Fall back, fall back, fall back. All right, you cap now. You got six minutes to hold the point. Let's see. Charge going down the nipple. Charge going. Yeah, down I mean, left. I, I don't know what. Would you be worried about holding the point right now, or would you just try to like add some time and get some casualties down? Do you think? Yeah, I, I would try to get casualties. I would th start throwing my tickets away here. Like getting wiped here as unit isn't a bad idea. Like now, when they recap, they're going to be taking losses at least. It just where's the rest of the Union team? I mean. A lot of it's on this right side here. That's kind of, kind of got wiped out by this massive CSA. You can see the uh, nipple's been lost now. EB did get wiped on the left though. All right, All right ten. Ten. Shift it down to the left. Let's go. Let's go. Man, nineteenth and twenty second on this left. Yeah, I mean CSA holds the rest of the field, but again, you kill some time. Why not? Now, from the CSA perspective, how do you how do you, how would you approach this at this point? I mean, keep doing what you're doing. I mean, Ooh, you're 14 minutes. So you're fast. you just went into taking losses. You're see, the union's playing as slow. You want to play it as slow as possible. Waste as much time. Take as little casualties as you can. And uh, I would just stay in the woods, to be honest. Just kind of stay back. Just keep baiting them. Although, although what what yeah. Knight is doing with Temp Tennessee is a pretty good idea. Get get infiltrating fire on them. Fucking ball right in their face, boys. Your protector from Artie from there. It's it's pretty it's some pretty good shots. Like personally, if I'm if I'm whoever this is in the left 42nd, this group right here, I would charge right now. Yeah. Try to knock would, out HL. Well, now you try to knock, knock out HL. I, I, you want to throw as many tickets away as possible. So when they cap here, they don't get as many tickets back. Oh yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. There's no point in not. Uh, and then you're all back at main, and you could plan your next move too. It's another yeah. benefit. Exactly. Like them just staying back here really doesn't give them anything, especially since I don't see a flag with them. So you know this is a fleeting thing anyway. Third USH is another unit I don't know that's. I it seems like Tam Tennessee just got caught out at Victory Hill. They're going to recap and then be in a melee unless it seems like Knife Corps is getting into them now. Yeah, I think they, uh, Panth is charging know. forward. I don't know about this. I think that's a little bit of a misplay for Temp Tennessee. You just lost your team a good amount of tickets. Not too much, but... Ah, uh, you can make the difference here. You know, it's... Here's Susan Zeus. Come on, guy, get this last guy. Get HL. Charge him out, boys. We got EB moving back over to the corner that 40 seconds was at. And now 40 seconds is in the back woods over there. The southwest. Need support on the right. I mean that's all it really takes is to get one side of a unit in the woods behind them and have everybody else push from the front. You just gotta coordinate it decently well. And with no steam chat, that's a little tough. Or with no flags. Because right now there's two down union flags. Looks like they do have some reinforcements coming in. Who is it? Oh, it's just the rest of 40 seconds. We have the yeah. entire enemy formation. I, 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 just, I still so think they're playing this way to too slow. I mean, uh, exploit it. 13 minutes, they're at the top of taking losses. you got to get them in breaking at least in the next five to, five to eight minutes. Uh, Yeah, no, I would agree with you. And I think they could do that if they get aggressive, but, you know. The sitting back and shooting and popping volleys. I, I'm I, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Check. Company's loaded, sir. Got an NYV here in the center. I want to see, curious to see what Parker's gonna do. Just do more volleys and hit maybe one person. Yeah, I didn't even see a flag go down on that. So. Seems like they might be all getting ready to make a push for the center from Victory Hill. Would you would you cap again here? Oh yeah, I, I would. I mean, I, the, the likelihood of I don't know. I I think you just play by ear. If they let you cap, it's not a bad thing. The likelihood of CSA being able to push you in the last stand 
as attackers. It's pretty low in dunkers. Because I don't think they... Can they... Can CSA get all the way to this uh, strike row where this battery is back here? I don't think they can. Uh, they can get somewhere near there, but I think it does kind of peter out right about there. Like, it'd be incredibly tough because you could just pull out um, and not engage. So, like, capping's not necessarily a bad thing. Now, if you were, like, to the E or S of taking losses, absolutely not. Do not cap, obviously. But I think you're running out of time. If you cap again, the yellow timer is going to be even lower. I think it might be, what, five, six minutes when you recap. So, it's just going to kind of force the CSA's hand to come out into the open for your arty to hopefully do some work. So, either or. I'm not opposed to either. What kind of play by ear? Um, looks like they're doing these pop volleys here. Well, 40 seconds seems to get wiped out from the left, so... They're just they're just taking it way too slow. I don't know why. I mean, you come on, guys. You're you're attacking. Attack. Now we do have 123rd and MWB here on the snake fence, but I think they're a little bit outgunned here. Hey, uh, flag, take a step back. And they're getting cross shot from the left and the right. Up on the line. Check on ready. Take Same position. Pick your target on the position. Again, these volleys look cool, but when you watch them, like from the back of Victory Hill all the way into the woods, you're not going to hit a lot. It's just a really long way. At that point, the shots are just RNG. No, you gotta have something to draw them out. You gotta have, like, and, well, actually, now we got Ninth Corps that's going into the center here, along with 19th Indiana. Yeah, but this group is hitting into the center on the snake route. They're, 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 they're it's like shooting fish in the barrel. Yes, he thinks he is too. And I, and 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 I'm seeing it time and time again. They start making a push. They start getting aggressive, and then they just hold. They, 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 they just hold, and, and they just want to shoot it out. And they want to shoot it out with a CSA team that has way better cover and way better positions than them. And look at that, the ticket loss is starting to lose it again. It's starting to get away from them. Eagles, right face, right face, Eagles! Like, now in this, in this part of the game, I think holding the nipple is a bad idea. I think, I think a lot of people get stuck on holding, get stuck on holding the nipple. Um, like a lot of people. And now... HL is about to about to do a do a volley on them. They're getting shot from Tip Tennessee in the woods. They're getting shot from around the corner of the Dunkers Church. They're 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 getting shot from three different angles. Yeah. So we, do, about to be good. we do have an attack developing on EB on this right side here. CSA right. I just I just think it took way too long to develop. It, it's taking way too long, and now HL is about to charge. Yeah, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hold the fence. Fall back. Back, back to the fence for a second. Not a bad already shot on Tev Tennessee. Knocked down half their force. So this is a strung out charge from Tev Tennessee now. Not to their own demise. Already kind of done them in there. So like now... I would avoid capital on accident. I would try to do as many casualties as you can, especially with, with I don't know why CSA is doing this, but they're just all funneling down the road now for no reason. No, I, I'm kind of confused why they're not standing and shooting, um, especially from cover. Right now, they're letting the Union kind of have a battle well, line. Well, if CSA loses this charge, they lose the game. They'll 100% be in breaking, and they'll have nobody on the field to to stop the cap. I, I think you're right. And it looks like Hood has ordered a counter charge. I think CSA is going to win this charge, but they're going to be a, either breaking or barely not in breaking at the end. Ollie, come back. Ollie, come back. Come back. Go, let's go. Let's go. Ethan, stay close. Let's get out of here. Just I still have a map by the it looks like CSA survived that charge. Just a couple um, leftovers here. Now we're at 7:44. CSA close to breaking. Union not, let's say, about even with them. 
and see if the entire team was with them when they did that if nwb was kind of playing with the team now i know i know playing on the right was a part of the plan but at some point you do just have to abandon shooting at what eight skirmishers out here yeah you got like ab or 79th over there nothing nothing decisive because if you add NWB in this group that's on the right, they they, they could have possibly won that charge and won the game. Yeah. Or gotten them down to breaking at the very least, I think. I mean, we could basically call it breaking now. It's not breaking, but the next charge, the ne next engagement will go. Possibly, uh, uh, hits, they, they will go breaking. Yeah, it will. I mean, the, the, I mean, the problem is the timing still does matter, though, because it's, it's you know, we're, we're extending the timer for when they're not going to get last stand either. That fire, gentlemen. Oh, I don't. I don't think CSA is going to last stand here. I think this is going to go be a breaking, breaking. If Union gets lucky and wins this game, it's going to be because they win a final charge on point and capture while breaking. I think they got time for maybe one more charge. To be honest with you, one more good charge. And they better make this one count. I think. I think instead of stopping in the defilade for like three minutes, shooting it and then charging, they just need to get in there. They need to send runners over here to this right group, who. You know, probably the Union team thinks they're distracting like 10 to 20 guys over here are really only, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Yeah, it's about well, 7 on 7, not really. And But, I mean, the bigger problem is there's a flag over right. here. There's a flag? NWB has like 10 guys. Uh, who else is this on the right? Oh, I didn't see NWB over here. I was looking at that 123rd. Yeah, there's oh, yeah. way too many guys on this side doing fuck Doing off. nothing. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in that woods right now. There's, you know, again, a couple skirmishers out there. I bet that's Rick's. Let me go look. And honestly, if they get aggressive, push out these rocks oh, no, and it's a, it, swing through the woods. It's AB, but still, it's you know, it's not a big formation here. See, so they're finally, they're finally getting aggressive. But they don't have a flag, which is a problem. Get, get in the woods. Get in the woods. For, for wolves. One twenty third is getting aggressive. Let's see, this is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. It seems like they're about to charge out this group on the right from the left. Um, this could work out well. That might actually, this might get them down to. Um, looks like they coordinated the charge because I see an MWB guy with them. Timotheon, Timotheo, I think he coordinated it. Yeah, AB's about to get wiped here. They should just have gotten out here, but it seems like they're going to stay in a fight. Uh, this might put him into breaking, to be honest with you. We got him, we got him. That'd be close. We're getting charged out. Somebody know. Somebody I'm a killer. Friendly, I'm a killer. Friendly, friendly. I'm a killer. No, not yet. Not quite. Oh, yeah, they did it. They knocked him out. But see, these groups on the right have to start moving through the woods. They have to go. Hey, they while, go while the entire Union team's going through the center, they have to go through the woods and hopefully hey. get a quick quick little Oh, boy. Ninth Corps is going straight in. There's the breaking. Looks like Hood took a bit of a flank. And knife, knife Corps just got wiped before they even hit the fence. Eight people shot them. And see, like I keep saying, th this group is getting hung up on holding the nipple. This does nothing. This isn't on cap. This isn't doing anything. Nope, CSA is going to wipe out Hood and then they're just going to turn on them. Nope. Charge him out. Charge him out, charge him out, charge him out. out. You can't charge shit out. Eat my ass. Shank him, boys. Shank him, boys. Shank him, Shank him, boys. Shank him, Hey, officer. Hey, officer. I, I think that's game. A, a the game. If I'm CSA, I, put, I push up to Victory Hill. Do a giant battle line on the other side of Victory, Victory Hill and just hold it. I, I think you're right. I think, I think the CSA just won it there. I mean, now you got the uh, 123rd MWB charging in. Push in, push yeah. behind. Too little, too, too little, too late. Yeah, not enough. Again, the the beat in detail. It is hard to coordinate. There's no steam chat, but. Make sure you're killing enemies. Which is fair. You just gotta recognize at some point, like, oh, hey, oh the people in front of us are like God, four people. Boys. It's four guys. Oh, boys. We gotta go. Holy we gotta go do something. They're in the fort. Where they at?
And honestly, for having what yeah, the only twelve guys on Artie, Artie was not effective out. at all, to be honest. Uh, I, I mean, a couple splashes, not at the rate of fire yeah, yeah, that you, they, they needed. Like, and you know what? The CSA was exposing themselves quite a lot, so I can't even say well they were deep in the woods. There was plenty of times he was sitting out on that fence, easy shots. I mean, that was a good Artie shot on the right side of the Dunker Church, but they didn't. Nobody was there. I don't know if that shot killed anybody. I mean, you might have time for one more charge. Everybody can get a mass behind Victory Hill, but you're kind of just running straight into them. No, that's the thing is, you, I mean, you have time for one charge, but they got plenty of time to set up. Yeah, I'm fucking bone. When they peak, it's, it's slow. You never know. I've seen I've seen crazier things happen. Go. Uh, I mean, it's possible. I mean, if a CSA kind of kind of screws it up and doesn't defend point. You see, he's seven. But it looks like they're pretty well concentrated from what I can see. I Which is a good idea. I mean, we're finally going to see a full Union team charge at once. So this, Which I, I, I don't think that's happened all match, to be honest with you. I mean, maybe that first. And they, they even that, they stopped and shot for, like, a good several minutes. They got to go, like, now, though. They, like, got to go now. All right, they're going. Yeah, I don't think they got time for that. I mean, that goes back to what I was talking about earlier. Those tickets, you could really, uh, you know, now you, you know, I have no time. General Lee, I have no time. You had time earlier though, and you kind of pissed it away. Well, let's see. Maybe somehow CSA might lose his charge. You never know, but I, I don't see that happening. They're going right into the mouth of them. If they were going to go last stand in this charge, you might have a you might have a, a way to win. But yeah, yeah, Union just got totally wiped out. Wasn't even close. Nope. That's it. So CSA went on uh, dunkers there. Not a uh, usual. Uh, see any uh, final thoughts? I, I, it's just infuriating to watch. I mean, it, it's an easy union win. Um. Aside from when you just stay in an open field and shoot for seven minutes at the beginning of the game, or stay in the defilade and get shot for seven minutes, or stay on the fence and get shot for five minutes, you just gotta get in there. A lot of that's that's how I see Union loses lose this map is just standing and shooting in an open field while CSA has a fence. That's what happened. Yep, unfortunately, I mean some Union aggression, but not really enough, and I think they uh, felt that loss of time there at the end. You gotta make it up for it in the beginning. You can't just, oh, we got time. Like, eh, check your tempo. Make sure you got the time. Anyway, that's it for the first map. Um, we got one more coming up. We got a burn aside bridge, so they'll be switching sides. I don't know if they're gonna be doing a... They'll probably do it in between one, so I'll take a break in the recording and restart once I do the, uh... Once they're done switching sides. Anyway, see y'all for the next one. I'm gonna go yell at my guys, right?